Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So, uh, this is called Synth Sphere and it's by Clevgar or Clevgrand or as I like to say, Clevgrind, Clevgrind, Clevgrind. Uh, because uh, I need Jacob to pronounce the Swedish <laughs> properly for me. Anyway, the very cool guys over there uh, have created this cool synth based on the synth, their synth synth. <laughs> so you can't alter the parameters and stuff or anything like that. Um, and it, it has a set of like 70 presets, uh, but you can save your own. Uh, but... It, there's not much point in that really because here's the here's the cool the cool cool bean things is there's nothing there in the in the factory there um just the initial preset but how this works is you kind of move around your sounds like this and also the other cool thing as well is there's an AUV3 and furthermore it is a, a remarkably good price of one ninety nine one dollar ninety nine or one pound ninety nine. Uh, and if if you are interested in it, please uh, check the link out in the description of this video below, uh, because I get a small commission from Apple. It doesn't cost the developer anything, uh, and it helps support the sound test room. Oh, okay. So, so this preset is called. Now it has some global 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 parameters here that that never ever change. So. Okay. And the, the legato there for the glide. Which is a cool way to explore your presets. Okay, so here's the thing with uh, uh, Synthesphere, it is uh, uh, an AUV3, which means that uh, we can open it up as many times as we like, well, as many times as you're... Do you know what? I'm trying to find something here, and I've, 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 lost, I've lost it again. Oh, there it is, there you are. I keep moving stuff around on the screen, and then I lose it, right? <clears throat> so, right, here we go, here we go. So here's what we can do, right? Uh, okay. Ooh, uh, audio unit extensions. And I shall find... Uh, Clip Grand. Here are all the Clip Grand. And all AUV3. So, they're very good. so it's based on synth, synth here. So just let's have a quick look at synth. So here is synth. <laughs> synth. Uh, and this does have... Uh, Right, right, let's do this as well. While we're here, we need to root MIDI roots because I'm using my MIDI keyboard. So, so for USB MIDI synth door like that, and lo and behold, it's connected. And also, I shall say that if you want to control your synth, your AUV3 synth in AUM with just the controller keyboard here, you just tap this, and then you can choose channel one, and then you can. Good morning, campers. So let's see. Okay, so we got that so far. So this is synth. This is it's based on synth, which is a synth. You can you can you know you can program it. Now I think it'd be nice if I could share my synth presets with synth sphere, but maybe uh, Clev Clandela will do that. Anyway. So let's just now. Here's another thing as well. People keep asking me what what is the difference between AUM and audio bus. There are subtle differences, you know. There are there are differences, but I like to use both because otherwise my videos would get incredibly boring. Although some people probably think they already are. But also with AUM, when I'm demonstrating AUV3s, 
I can pick them up and just keep them on the screen and move them around. Now I'm going to add here uh, an, or a, a, a what's it as well, just to show it working as an AUV3. And what I need to do now is I shall MIDI root my. <coughs> Where's it gone now? Since they are to my. To my MIDI keyboard. Yeah, So, and then I can move that around as well. And then. So now I've got a blend. So now we're just back to. Synthesphere. Now, furthermore, furthermore. So let's close all this. Let's close all this now and have a look at something else. So oh, before we go, I need to just clear this session. <clears throat> so that's important to clear the sessions. Over on the Audio Bus Forum when this came out, Jumper Collins jumped on this synth straight away and then built this little preset. Now, if you don't have Audio Bus, you can't do this. Audio Bus allows you to save preset states of various apps and things. And it's very, very easy to... <clears throat> To install them so someone will post on the audio bus form their preset for audio bus 3 and you can share yours as well so what i did i thought well, this is very 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 cool so all you need to do to load this thing is tap on it and then open preset it in audio bus now i i already have this but let's do it anyway and it'll just say open in audio bus 3 <clears throat> and it'll load it up now because i have already the uh instruments and, and things that are required to do this it all loads up automatically for me it's very 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 cool and there are your your presets there sort of thing so there is this one that i've just put in and this one that the, this the one i downloaded so it, it lets me download it twice it's no problem and then you what what he has done here which is very cool beans is if you go to midi he has fugue machine so if you look at fugue machine that's it there <laughs> Okay, and Fugue Machine is playing synth rise via MIDI. Now, I'm not going <laughs> to... This isn't a tutorial about setting up your MIDI, but you can see how this works. In the MIDI settings, is Fugue Machine play with heads 1 to 4 because you can send information from each of the separate playheads in Fugue Machines to different synthesizers. So we wouldn't have to have that as as a synthscaper. We could... A synthscaper, is it? Or synthsphere. We could have it as something else. And he's also got it written to a couple of uh, FAC choruses here. And basically, all I need to do is press play here. And I can control the, the mixture between each playhead. And I can adjust for the FAC chorus A and the FAC chorus B so we could choose a different oh very nice and also we could start to play with Fugue Machines pattern generators whilst we could choose any one of the four instances of synth sphere because it's an AUV3 we could start to play with that as well now because I have my mixer sets range now you'll notice that there's nothing there that means if you go to fugue machine playhead 4 probably isn't even switched on
Anyway, <laughs> I go on and on. So there you go, guys. Just a quick look. It's uh, Sint Sphere from Clev Girl, £1.99, uh, $1.99p. Very cool beans. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a Patreon. And uh, yes, it's all information is in the descriptions below. And uh, yes, thanks for watching. See you later. Awesome.